And how's this report from Toulouse? This was the moment when police in Toulouse finally lost patience with Mohamed Merah. It's filmed dangerously close to the gunfight from the window of a neighbouring building. A little later, the two injured police officers are stretched away. 24 hours later, the clear-up is underway and all around signs of just how serious this gun battle was. The windows of a number of the apartments were blown out by the police stun grenades. That's the door there that the police went through. They also went through one of the windows and all over the walls are the signs of a very, very heavy gun battle. Lots of bullet holes. The cars too have got bullet holes on them. But I think there is a much, much more fundamental question to be asked. Mohamed Mera had been to Afghanistan. He'd been to Pakistan. He may well have been to Iraq too. He was known to have fundamentalist views that were reported to the authorities and yet they did nothing. With all that in mind, there's just one question in Toulouse at the moment. Could Mera have been stopped, seven lives saved and all this prevented? We spent the afternoon in the city centre where naturally everyone is talking about the